Will the Yorkers deal go through? And if not, what are our options? Well, James Heapy, there are some headwinds in the US. Will the AUKUS deal go through? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the, for there to be a bit of dissent in Congress is no, nothing unusual. Um, as you can see from this panel, as you would see from the equivalent panel in the UK, politicians are rarely all of one mind. Uh, Shocking. And exactly, breaking news. Uh, and so you know, a couple of US legislators saying that they've got some reservations doesn't undermine the commitment of the US, UK and Australian government to an extraordinarily important strategic partnership that brings our three countries together around some really important technologies, not just in terms of nuclear propulsion of submarines, but the stuff that will define the battle of tomorrow, hypersonics, cyber, um, electronic warfare and other things. Um, and you know, we are inescapably in a world that is ever less safe, ever more insecure. And having those capabilities and developing them with your closest friends and allies is a really important part of the response to that insecurity. Mm. There is a US election, though, that's looming. And is there the possibility, if there is, for instance, a Trump presidency, that the deal could be cancelled? Well, the American people are brilliant and sovereign and will choose their president as they wish. Uh, and they are brilliant and sovereign, but does it provide a sovereign risk for us? Well, it, it, politics always changes. I mean, the, the Australian people are brilliant and sovereign and will resolve the question that is being asked of them in the referendum that we were just mm. discussing. And for, you know, for me to sort of say that the US people can't make a judgment because of what I want them to do is... No, a, no, is, that's not is really the question. The question is, do you think that AUKUS would be at risk under a Trump presidency? Well, who knows? I mean, it, it, AUKUS, uh, as an idea, uh, was announced... Uh, under this administration, but it has genuine bipartisan support on the Hill. Uh, it is uh, a very important part of uh, the UK, Australia and the US uh, coming together uh, in the face of a growing challenge in the, in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, and my suspicion is that it would survive a change of administration, even if it was a second Trump presidency. Do you want the job of Defence Secretary? Uh, uh, ben Wallace is moving on. I, I would love it, but that's a decision <laughs> for the, that's a that's a decision for the Prime Minister, not me. Have you asked? No, you don't ask. These <laughs> don't things. you? you <laughs> Do just... you just sort of look like you really want it? Uh, <laughs> no, no. In fact, that's the worst thing to do. Is I think. Yeah. Yeah. Do I make a good point? I mean, uh, how do you get a I, job I like that? I think he's going to be on the front page of a paper in London tomorrow. That's what I do think. <laughs> that's um, what I'm going for. Yeah. I don't know. It's, if people got the right capabilities, you know, you see people go through Parliament. I've been there for 18 years now, the Senate and the House of Representatives, and you, you can pick talent. When talent arrives, you say that person's going to go all the way. So do you think this guy's going to be the defence minister? I only just met him tonight, but um, <laughs> you know, he looks like a wonderful chap. I just got to... <laughs> 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 uh, Patrick Gorman, if I could bring you in. Um, seems to be a bit of a discussion looming for the National Conference of the Labor Party around AUKUS, but it doesn't seem like the Prime Minister's really enthusiastic to have that discussion. Why not? Well, firstly, uh, we have a democratic conference you in the do. Labor Party. We open it to the media, the ABC and all the others. Can't wait. Uh, so everyone can do come you and see have us a robust be a democratic about AUKUS? political party. Um, already the draft platform we've got out there says that we support AUKUS. Uh, you've seen the Labor Party go to an election, elected on the platform of supporting AUKUS. Uh, we very quickly, when this was put forward, again, you know, negotiated by you know, a Conservative government uh, here in Australia, uh, we supported it. Uh, there will always be some people in Australian society who will have a contrary view. But they're in your um, party. Yeah. But it's not that... I don't, I don't think that it's the majority of the party, it's I, not the parliamentary party, it's not the, it's not the ministry. They kind of uh, see And it. I'm comfortable uh, winning that debate on the benefits for Australia of AUKUS okay. in any forum, whether that be a community what? forum, whether that be in a party forum, whether that be on this okay. panel tonight. Uh, it's good for Australia. It's a long-term right. agreement. Ra <laughs> Rachel, I want to bring you in. I mean, I'm, I know that you're very devoted this year to the referendum, but AUKUS is huge. We're spending a lot of money on it. There seems to be a lot of opinions about it because of that big expenditure. It's what do you very think big. Of it? Well, 
can I make television history on Q&A Oh, how tonight? exciting. Yes. yes. I love television I'm history. I'm actually not going to give an opinion on it, <laughs> which has never happened on Q&A, right? <laughs> We're here to give opinions. I'm not going to give one. One, because I don't actually feel qualified to do so, personally. Um, but the other thing I'm going to do is demonstrate how the voice will work, and that is that we are not going to give an opinion necessarily on nuclear submarines. So there you've just seen the demonstration of the voice. OK. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Because it is not the key issue in Aboriginal Australia. I want to give an opinion about renal fa failure, dialysis, how we treat dialysis in Aboriginal communities. I want to give a I want to give an opinion about the housing crisis in Aboriginal communities, about the extreme cost of living. I want to give an opinion about alcohol restrictions in Alice Springs. Those are the things that The Voice will comment on, not, as it's been suggested, nuclear submarines and parking tickets. Um.